Hey guys, welcome to a quick video. So looking at some of the sovereigns and half sovereigns that I have. Uh, there is also the quarter sovereign there. So the half sovereign is just under a quarter ounce. Um, have a few of these, you've got the classic design there on the front. Uh, or the back or whatever side that is on this side you have the obviously the horse slaying the dragon it's a bit like the silver valiant uh, if you've seen that um, in the one ounce um, so yeah this is Elizabeth II and yeah that is your sort of standard uh, what year is that 2018 that's like your standard you know recent sovereign um, again another 2018 and then we have some others which are again 2018 so you'll notice they look a little bit coppery compared to some of the more yellowy coloured uh, gold um, it just depends on what they put in with the gold so it's 22 carat uh, I'm not sure what the half sovereigns are um, but yeah, this compared to something, uh, what have I got handy? Say like, for example, this maple. See, this is a more coppery colour. Uh, whereas that is four nines gold uh, maple leaf. So, yeah, then we have, uh, like I say, the gold sovereign. Now we've got a few of those. And then if we look um, a little bit closer in, so let's just get this one out of the way. This is a very small, so this is um, a quarter sovereign and it's a square coin for some reason. Um, just a bit more unique. So you can see there, quarter sovereign. And still very similar design, just on a square piece. Uh, so that's that. Um, and these are some half sovereigns. Let's start with this one first, which is a shield back. So the design I just showed you on these ones here, um, on this face, instead, because it's 2002, has the shield and the wreath and the crown, uh, which is just a little bit more unique. Um, because that's something they did in 2002. So I just picked it up by chance. I didn't really know, you know, what it was. I just bought it as a half sovereign. Uh, so yeah, very cool. Um, whereas pretty much all the others have this on the other on the other side, and then the face side, we've got a range. So I've got some of these. So you can see here. Uh, we've got this head, we have this head, so this one's Edward, this one's George, so we've got some Edward, some George, uh, and then we're on to Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, so the two different heads there. I think one is probably the young head. And then one is the sort of one we're more commonly seeing. So there we go. They are some half sovereigns and some sovereigns. So being in the UK, a uh, very sort of popular coin, very liquid, easy to get rid of, you know, if you wanted to sell. Um, obviously easy to come across as well. Um, depending on where you're buying from, obviously be careful what you're buying, make sure it's gold. And um, I've seen some fake ones of these, but it was, it just didn't even look like it was even slightly real. 
Um, the guy in the coin store had them just as like to show people um, what customers had supposedly come in with. And one, yeah, it didn't have like this edging rim here. Um, and the design was like really filling the whole coin. Um, like it was almost hanging off the edge, whereas the horse's head is. It was like almost off the edge of the coin. Um, and it just didn't even look right when you've seen a few of these. Um, but yeah, the uh, coin store I tend to buy from, he has a tester, so he can test, obviously make sure everything's real. Um, and if you buy him from any of the reptile deals, you know, online, like Bullion by Post or uh, Hat and Guard or No Atkinson's or, you know, any of the, sort of the big ones, um, pretty guaranteed, you can be pretty much guaranteed that they're going to be obviously real and um, they're not going to be selling fakes on there. Um, I don't know anyone who's come across any fakes from, you know, companies like that. Um, it, it's sort of the the smaller maybe, um, you know, or car boot sale type, uh, eBay type things you want to be careful of. But um, I haven't bought anything from eBay. Um, I can't think. No, nothing from eBay as yet. But, you know, check people's reviews and things like that. And if you do have gold that you're not sure where it came from, uh, you might be able to take it to a jeweler or a precious metals dealer and have it tested. They might might charge you a fee, but they might not. You know, they might just do it for you. Um, that'd be a wise thing to do, just so you know. Uh, but obviously, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it happens. Um, I've been, you know, sensible enough not to come across any yet. Uh, but you've just got to keep your eyes peeled and be sensible. So, hope you enjoyed the coins. Talk to you soon.